The visitors stayed for less than a week on the island before setting off back into the sea. During this time, they helped the Lokahi tribe by cooking and cleaning for them. And when it was time to go, the visitors expressed their gratitude to the Lokahi tribe and to the island. And as they waved goodbye, they promised to return again on the next full moon. Kailana was overjoyed because she would be performing her special dance on the next full moon. Kailana had finished her costume and was pleased with the dance she had developed. She told her mother, this will be my best dance ever, and she was so excited. As promised, the visitors came back in their big boat to the island on the next full moon. Of course, the Lokahi tribe welcomed them and gave them a place to rest and to eat. The Lokahi and their visitors shared a lavish feast, and of course there was music and dancing. And then Kailana danced her special dance. Her costume had shells and feathers and was outfitted by the fine fabrics that were brought from the visitors and she danced as she had never danced before. At the end of the evening, one of the visitors served the Lokahi a special tea made of mushrooms, taro roots, cinnamon, and ginger for each of them to drink in honor of the island. The Lokahi were touched and very grateful for the tea, and they drank it eagerly. Kailana was the last to drink the tea, Although she thought the tea was quite bitter, she drank it anyway. After she finished her tea, Kailana noticed that the members of her tribe were acting a bit strangely. Some were howling at the moon, others were laying on the ground staring at the sky, some were muttering, others were singing, some were pacing around. She wondered, what is going on? Is it the full moon? And then Kailana found herself drifting off. She was wondering, what's going on with me? And then as usual, for comfort, she looked up into the sky. All she could see was darkness and a big full moon on an island that had always kept her safe and protected.